Zillin. I'm Zillin. Welcome back to my therapy. Where am I going at? An evil smile appeared on the president's face. <laughs> There's no such thing as the student council. There is only me. Can't we join you? Is that so hard to believe it? No one can join me. We asked you guys that was all morons and parasites back in the day. Because of course you have to join if you are so commercial, ambitious, funny, moronic. Thanks to me we stop letting a lot of people in. And by I don't want it, I mean people I don't want. I bet so. And the last independent members of the council graduated in previous years. Now I am the president and the entire college is under my foot. I like it. Cool. Can I join? No. I don't share power with anyone. What are you talking about? This is, this is a college. I want power. I want friends. Lies. Huh? Everyone wants it. You circle around me, fulfill my task, constantly talking to me in a for tone. You definitely want something else in return. Recognition? Huh? Oh. Oh. But my trust is worth more than that. Freshman, you don't have anything to do too. I just want to be your friend. She raised his eyebrow. What? Why is this evening so sentimental all of a sudden? Let's end it. She gulped down all three cups of her coffee, got from the table. Yeah, I finished with the food and went outside to say goodbye. A long, tiresome, and stressful day was coming to an end. Should I avoid such conditions or like vice versa or like get used to it? My psychologist could help me, but I can't consult him every issue. Where's that phone at? Miss calls. Maybe next time, baby. The day has passed. I got two more acquaintances. It sounds more difficult. I didn't manage to get a normal conversation with either Erica or Cleo. I need to get in the art club. But the relationship with the only member I did not work out very well. Erica, on the other hand, was interested in me for some reason. Strange, I'm not sure myself. I need to see a doctor. Bring him a sketchbook. Or something else. $1,800 cash. My body twitches, I woke up. <laughs> I'm not in the middle of an avenue or hospitals or funerals. I'm in my dorm bed. Good morning. Funerals? Oh, yeah, because my girlfriend died. Oh, morning, stupid. You look good. You actually look good, actually. I didn't wash my face. Do you like, like books? Have I any chance? You look like you do. Uh, not really. Relax. I do not like them. What do I look like? I know. I don't know, but some girls who love them, yes, they do. Yeah. Anyway, I need to borrow some textbooks from the library, but I'm somehow forbidden to go there. His smile was gone, and so was his optimism for a second. So would you help me, my friend? Is there actually a library? I have a library. I need all these books. Thanks for that, buddy. I return the favor. What could it be? I washed up once my classes, enjoying the fresh, soothing breeze. The air here is much nicer than the city. It really cured my mind of nightmares. <laughs> Welcome back, class. No, no, no. I saw something right there pop up. What was it? Ayaka ran right with the bell as time class began. What was that that popped up? I even tried to participate in it and answer the questions questions, but I gave it back to the first mistake. Ayaka came running for me at recess. Hi, 
Recess? You don't get recess in college. Hi, Kikun! Hi! Hello. Have you already signed what badge you want? I didn't think about it. What? Uh, I thought as a tear, you'd better know which one should be more. <laughs> How very nice of you. Well, do not complain then. I started selling them today. I want to make people wait. I don't think anybody's waiting for it. But will you be there in your class suddenly? Can I go? Just really need to help and I want to be with you. Huh? Nothing? I don't know. For sure. She'll be at the other club. She cannot stop me. I won't be in this either. But they're all going to go anywhere else. What do you mean you don't know? What are you going to do then? I should go to my club. I mean, I would do it uh, every week. Well, I'm going to go to the library. The library? What's a library? Oh, sweetheart. Maybe. And humble, too. Probably studying for a math test. What? Math test? Yeah! The test is week. I said that five minutes ago. Why did we write a test? Why did we write tests in the first week? What? I don't know. I just don't like it. But if I tell Yaka that I was busy before some of the tests, she would think I am super busy and not bother to go with her. Yeah, sure, why not? I was right! You're really smart! And I, I, I'm busy with badges today. So much to do. No! Come back, I love you. It's not surprising anymore. Some kind of test cannot scare me. I thought about my health with a good doctor today, or I like to borrow a book for myself. Anything but my studies. Seven hours passed, I was finally free from my prison. Where's the library at? Hello? It wasn't closed as I went inside. Our library! <laughs> Ancient computers and good lighting. On the other hand, is a pirate flag and every corner is scribbled with something. Are people at all except for one person on the reception desk? Is she gorgeous? Yes. I approached this girl with dark green hair and wrinkled green sweatshirt. She ignores me. Her ears are plugged with headphones and her eyes were locked on a tablet which was watching some kind of anime. Oh! How you doing? I suddenly knocked on the table and it indicated my presence, where I see a sharp gesture commanding me to wait. This is the best part. She didn't sound for a two minutes, so the characters on the table kissed and the girls began to nod in her approval. I knew they'd be together. I called it. She took off her headphones and looked up with me with a pair of sleepy, honey colored eyes. Oh, hi. Are you a freshman? Or just. I don't remember. I'm new. Sure you are. Those who have any experience don't come here. What? Name's Chio. I am Chio. I used to study here and I don't deserve any respect. What? Howdy. By the way, if you're here on your own, I suggest you think you're like personal. People like you and a buzz the librarian. And part time beginner. Thanks, I think. Okay, okay, I'm done. So do you know what you want to take? Ow! What's up? <laughs> I know what you want to take! A masculine figure, a broken horse, but loud voice threw out a bit at Chio and me. Ah! An albino girl with straight up ashy colored hair and almost completely sunburnt skin. Cab? And what is that, a mustache? <laughs> you need a real story. Story about pain. I'm bending well of a real person. A dark reunion. Ugh. A story that inspired. 
Millions of people worldwide being hope with thousands of homeless hearts. She broke the entire library, drooling, crushing her fist, gritting her teeth, and making growling every word. Positive critical reviews, hundreds of faithful letters, all of this. She didn't move at all and looked at the albino with kind of a smile. Real story of my life as a teenage marginal. What? She threw a heavy book on the table, which landed him by landing. She took a deep breath. What's happening? What's happening right now? Yes! I'm interested. Are you kind of cool, I guess? And by maybe, you mean surely. And by that, I mean maybe. Chew! Hand him the book. She handed the book in front of her, and then I bet I'm going to move her muscle. All right. Here, at least I want you to like, read something different. She gave me a heavy red book. My hands took it on their own. You told your Yui baby. Thanks. <laughs> uh, is it popular? Is you? Is it? Is it your book? Oh, we have an insightful. We have an insightful visitor today, don't we? And we'll see you next episode. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you eventually.